When writing an introduction paragraph, there are three parts that are needed. A good hook and some background information before writing a thesis statement. In this video, we're going to talk about how to write a good hook. The purpose of a hook is to make the readers want to read more. There are several different ways that you can do this. One way is to surprise the reader. You might start with an interesting or unknown fact, or you could start with something expected, but add a new twist to it, or something that seems to contradict what people already know. This surprise information should make your reader want to find out more. Another technique is to use a question, something that needs an answer, or something that makes people think and want to know how you are going to answer that question. However, especially in academic essays, you may want to use this technique sparingly. A third way is to use descriptive words. Try to use words that show the five senses, sight, hearing, taste, touch, and smell. In this type of hook, you would often use adverbs and adjectives that describe an action. This type of hook is used more in narrative essays, so it is not the best to use for an argumentative essay. A fourth way is to start with information like facts or statistics. Just make sure that you use true facts and information. You don't want to make this information up. And be sure to show your source from where you found this information. One more way to start your introduction is with a definition of a specific word in your topic or the question assignment. Choose a definition that connects to your thesis statement. One last way that you can begin an introduction paragraph is to use a quotation, especially using a quote if writing about a certain person or some influencer for a specific topic. Try finding a quotation that will support something that relates to your topic that you're writing about. And again, be sure to show your source or where you found that quotation. Let's take a possible question or a topic that you have been asked to write for an assignment. What challenges do large cities face in the 21st century, and what are some solutions to help solve these problems? You might try doing some brainstorming to think of ideas of what are some of the challenges, and decide that you want to write about these three. Affordable housing, urban pollution, and unemployment. Let's try thinking of a sentence that we could use with each type of hook. The first type was a hook that would surprise the reader. Here is a possible hook. Over half the world's population lives in cities. If we wanted to ask a question, we could use something like this. Did you know that the city of Tokyo in Japan is the most populous metropolitan area in the world? If you were writing a narrative type of essay, you could start your introduction paragraph in this way. People everywhere, people going to work or to school, hurrying to their different destinations, the noise of the cars and buses, as well as the many trucks carrying goods, all make up the hustle and bustle of a busy city. You can see that each of these hooks is a different approach to how you want to write your introduction paragraph. Let's look at a few more examples for the other types. For a hook that uses facts or statistics, you might write something like this. Today, some 56% of the world's population, 4.4 billion inhabitants, lives in cities. This trend is expected to continue, with the urban population more than doubling its current size by 2050, at which point nearly 7 of 10 people will live in cities. You can see that we have included a source for where we found this information. This is from the World Bank website, and this information is from 2022. 
If you were going to write a definition to start your introduction paragraph, you could write something like this. According to the Webster Dictionary, a megapolis is a very large city or a thickly populated region centering in the metropolis or embracing several metropolises. Our final type of hook is to use a quotation. You might use something like this. According to Edward T. McMahon, Senior Resident Fellow for Sustainable Development at Urban Land Institute, growth is inevitable and desirable, but destruction of community character is not. As you can see, each of these different types of hooks create a different beginning to your introduction paragraph. So let's try putting each of these hooks into an actual introduction paragraph. Here's an example for this surprise the reader type of hook. You would write your hook sentence and then give some more background information and then finally finish with your thesis statement, including your three ideas of what the challenges are that a large city faces. Here's the same thing you would do if you were going to use a question as your hook and the same for descriptive words. In a narrative essay, your thesis statement might be a little different than what we've used here as an example. And here are examples for the other three types of hooks. You can see that each of these different types of hooks will make a difference as to what your introduction paragraph will look like. To learn how to write these types of hooks, find a possible topic or a question assignment and try writing an introduction using each of these different types. The more you practice, the better you will get at writing a good hook for your introduction paragraph. In part two, we will add the background information section for the introduction paragraph. If you need help writing good sentences, paragraphs, or essays, you might want to check out my workbooks that I have available. The link is in the description below. Happy writing.